grateful I ask oh God that you help me to align with the body in the heart of our Lord in the art of his servants that our Lord has put in his heart of his servants in this beginning aspect of the meeting that you give me wisdom that you bless me with direction, you help my infirmity, that you strengthen us all in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. You may please be seated. You can welcome someone beside you. Tell them good morning. Happy to see you in this writing division. Hallelujah. Let's turn our Bibles um, uh, um, uh, a little stuttering and afraid, if you uh, permit me. First Corinthians chapter 10. Let me take a leap from where Pastor Leke um, uh, prayed from. What I have in my heart it's just one thing, and I feel um, that scripture you read from would best help me, you know, paint what I find in my spirit, you know, when I was told yesterday night that I'll bring forth a short exhortation. First Corinthians chapter 10, I read from. Moreover, brethren, I would not that ye should be ignorant how that all our fathers were under the cloud and all passed through the sea and we are all baptized unto Moses in the cloud and in the sea and did all eat the same spiritual meat and did all drink the same spiritual drink for they drank of that spiritual rock that followed them and that rock was Christ. Let's say amen. amen. Now, I want to draw out a principle, you know, pertaining to what I find stirred in my spirit. Now, he was talking about the children of Israel. Paul was actually drawing a pattern. If you read downwards in more than one place, he was talking about that this is for our example. What happened then is for our example. Now, the Lord picked Moses, you know, um, the son of Joseph, uh, you know, and his, you know, his father in the house of Pharaoh, the Lord picked him, you know, of course, he was a proper child, you know, he was born a proper child, there was, you know, the ordination of God upon him that he was going to save God's people, let's say amen. In the wisdom of God, when Pharaoh was destroying children, God put him in the house of Pharaoh and saved him, as it were, from being killed with his age mates. And he lived in the house of Pharaoh for 40 years. And because he had a premonition in knowing that he was supposed to save the people of God, he tried to execute it in the flesh. The end product was that Pharaoh was after him to kill him out of Egypt, went into the wilderness. Uh, his father-in-law, Jethro, you know, stayed in his house, you know, married his daughter, stayed there for 40 years, and, you know, had him. And God raised him in the period of 40 years for to raise, you understand, go bring his people out from the house of bondage. Let's say amen. Now, in bringing them out, he went to Egypt by the strength of the Lord, our stretched arm. He judged Egypt, obeying God, and they came through the cloud. 
and they passed through the sea. Now, what I want to say is particularly about Moses. I want to say some things about Moses by God's grace, if you permit me, in line with the emphasis of the house, but you understand by the time I, I land by God's grace. Now, he said, brethren, I don't want you, you know, I would not that you should be ignorant how that our, all our fathers were under the cloud and all passed through the sea. Now, all the fathers, the ancestors of the Jews, he's talking about that came out from Egypt particularly, he said they were all under the cloud, all of them, and all passed through the sea. Verse 2, they were all baptized unto Moses in the cloud and in the sea. Then they were able to eat of the spiritual meat and drink, which is Christ, or the meal that God served in the wilderness. But the principle there is that they were all under a cloud. Now, that cloud really was, if you ask, if you check scriptures very well, was a cloud, God is a cloud of an angel. The angel that the Lord sent to walk with Moses, that was his cloud. It is his abode. It's, it is his womb. It came with it from heaven. That cloud by day is a pillar of cloud. By night is a pillar of fire. And it's that angel's cloud. But because that angel in the book of Exodus was sent to walk with Moses, in a sense, that cloud was Moses' cloud. Take away Moses. You, you know, that ministering spirit stayed long. The reason why he tarried a little longer after Moses' demise, you know, when they entered into the promised land was because of the ark. Because what was in Moses was in the ark. But what was in the ark at some point was only in Moses. So that cloud was the cloud of the angel for Moses. And the Lord worked something in Moses that can trap the angel, like Pastor Lake was praying, that can keep the cloud. Now, the essence of the angel being sent, the cloud of the angel is not for the cloud, it's not for the angel, it's for the meal. It's for coming out of Egypt, pass through the Red Sea, come into the wilderness, eat manna, eventually arrive in the promised land. Fulfilling the will of God. But for that to be done, there are protocols. And part of the protocol this place is saying is that these people needed to be under this cloud. Now, the behavior of that cloud looked like the behavior that was exuding from a man. Because if Moses said, let us move, the cloud will move. In the eyes of the people. But really, the Lord talks to him via the angel. So, but the people won't hear the angel. The people would rather hear Moses. Moses say, yeah, let's pack everything. We are moving. We are moving. You know, two million people, everybody is packing their tent. Because Moses said we should move, that cloud will begin to move. When Moses said we should stop, the cloud will stop. So, in the eyes of the people, the cloud is tied to Moses. Because in reality... The reason why they sent, they walked in Moses for that long is to be able to walk with the ministering spirit who is a pillar upon which that cloud stood. And Moses was also raised a pillar to trap that cloud by reason of God's work that God did in him. They passed through, they were under the cloud and all passed through the sea. Of course, the operation of the sea opening, he stretched his rod, you understand, was something that was tied to, you know, one of the signs that God gave to Moses. Where am I going with it? The Lord has shown us mercy. Of course, Moses is a very, very great minister of the gospel in Old Testament times. But the Lord in his wisdom uses that same principle when everlasting works are being done. Let's say Amen. Obviously, Moses was already an everlasting man 
when God sent him to come and bring the children of Israel out. He could fellowship with God on the mountain for 40 days. He could take the patterns of the tabernacle, the uh, Mosaic law, which gave, you know, gave birth to the you know, Aaronic priesthood, which is an everlasting priesthood, you understand, was delivered to him. So he was an everlasting man. But for him to carry out you know, that ministry to its fullest, people needed to be under the cloud. Let's say amen. amen. People needed to pass through the sea. And under the cloud and through the sea look like what is tied to a man. Where is this God? Now for us to eat the things that are being provided at this time. Things everlasting. Everybody say things everlasting. I didn't hear you say things everlasting. For us to come into provisions of things everlasting by the help of the Lord, the things of the Lord that are being given. We need to trust the Lord to stay under a cloud. Now, when Daddy ministered on Wednesday in Lekki Soul Center, of course, we've been blessed tremendously, you understand, you know, since Daddy's absence, you know, uh, missionary work, Personally, the whole work has been blessed. The Lord used mommy to raise, uh, raise us like we've never been raised in previous times. You know, but daddy ministering in Lekki Soul Center on Wednesday, so, you know, for me, and I know that's true for many other people, it was obvious. What I just saw, you understand, permit me, I saw the spirit of a saint one at work. He cast a burden in my spirit. You know, when I was asked to lead prayers later that evening, I could do nothing but to lead prayers in that regard. So, but I, I now found wisdom around it to explain it, which is what I'm trying to explain. Because the whole meeting today, the Lord wants to give us things everlasting. Our pastors, one after the other, then down to our mommy, down to our daddy, want to speak things everlasting. But there is this cloud that daddy came with from the UK.
Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. My presence for my things. My presence for my things. My presence for my things. My pres pres presence for my things. My cloud 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 for my things. For you see, I've come down upon my servant again. I've come down upon my servant again. For I'm resending him again. 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 For I put a cloud upon him. I put a cloud upon him. I put my cloud upon him. I put my cloud upon him. It's my cloud. It's my own cloud. It's my own cloud. My own cloud. My own cloud. My 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 cloud. My 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 cloud. My 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 cloud. My 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 cloud. You need to believe that cloud. You need to believe it. You need to believe it. You need to believe it to eat out of it. You need to believe it to feed from it. You need to believe it. You need to believe it. For it is in that cloud that will bring a performance of that which will be done. Even in the next phase of this work. For I want to bring down things everlasting. I want to bring down things everlasting. I want to alter my commandments. I want to alter my things everlasting. And they cannot come without my cloud. Therefore I brought my cloud upon him. I've worn him another garment. I've worn him another garment. I've worn him Nom 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 the garment. No 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 the wearing. No the wearing. No the wearing. No. 
another one, another one, another one, another one to send him again, another one to send him again, another one to apostle him again. For I am sending him again. You need to believe this oppression. You need to believe this oppression. You need to believe this oppression. You need to agree with this oppression. You need to agree with this oppression. You need to believe it. You need to believe it to be able to partake out of it. You need to believe it to be able to partake out of it. For you many opasune yanto ni opa ugoninte mungali engeli matoni engeli matama nungle ni engeli hembri entoli engeli mosuna engeli ento ungle ngle engeli ba ito ma engle ma ma engo ma ikali ma ito ni ma eng ma ikali ma ita many ento ma engle ande ni sun da ika mi engle ma ino ita ido si ma ito ma le ma 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 engle ma 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 ika ma 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 my 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 way for I've given Michael another word for you. I've given Michael another word for you. For Michael is coming with another cloud. Even another cloud. Even another cloud to offer things of the end. To offer things of the end. 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 I'm sending you again. 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 I'm sending you. 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 I'm sending you again. I'm sending you again. I'm sending you again. I'm sending you again. I'm apostling you again. I'm sending you again. I'm sending you again. Michael is coming another fashion. Michael is coming another way. Michael is coming another way. Michael is coming another way. In another way. In another way. The same Michael but another Michael. The same Michael but another Michael. 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 It's another cloud. It's a new a cloud, a cloud of the hand, a Thank cloud you. of things of the hand, Thank a cloud you. of things of the hand, Thank a you. cloud of things of the hand. Thank you. See it, Jesus. Can we lift up our hands and give thanks to God? Glory to Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. So I was saying, God's grace, my time is almost up, you know. The principle that I've, you know, felt stirred in my spirit, particularly to be frank, in my spirit, is that they came under the cloud. Now, coming under the cloud is submitting to the activity of the Spirit of God, amongst other things, that is upon the man of God. Let's say amen. amen. Now, it's a very, very dicey thing. You know, some people were in my house yesterday, so uh, they now asked me why they were about leaving. They said I should pray for them. They now said, what should they do, you know, to maximize the provisions of this season? And just one thing was in my heart, you know, for them. I told them, I said, believe the man of God. I said, believe God's servant, Reverend Kayode Oyegoke. Now, Jesus said, he said, you know, he said, this is very high, our Lord Jesus Christ. I'm not comparing our Lord with, Jesus, uh, with Daddy Oyego Kate. No, I just want to draw out a biblical principle that says, believe the Lord your God, you shall be established. Believe his prophets, you shall prosper. And part of believing, the, one of the wisdom of believing is to submit to the activity of the Spirit of God, season in, season out, as the Lord brings it upon ministers, particular ministers that have peculiar responsibilities to the body of Christ. Like we have in the person of our daddy, God servant, Reverend Kyle Deo Yigoki. Not because of his person. I remember years ago, you know, ministering, because, you know, we've been blessed and we can tell from our spirits that the Lord sent a servant in a measure that the Lord has helped us. And I talked, you know, I used to talk about it a lot. I don't talk about it now like I do then. Not because I don't believe, but because I had confrontations. People confronted me, you understand? So I just reduced talking about it. I just preach. But this one is in my spirit. 
The moment I was told yesterday is stuck in my spirit. I've stayed up all, most part of the night trying to look, okay, there are many things to talk about, but this one didn't leave my spirit. That there is something the Lord, there's something which the Lord wants us to come under. It's not about the servant of God. It's about God who put it there so that we will eat of, for them in this particular junction, they needed to be baptized in the cloud and in the sea to eat of the spiritual meat and the spiritual drink. For us now, the Lord has brought something upon his servant so that we can take things everlasting. Let's say amen. amen. Let me put one or two examples around it. Years ago, daddy traveled, you know, daddy traveled to the UK for a meeting. I can't tell. I think those days that used to stay two months, three months before coming. So before he came back, I saw a vision, you know, very, very glaring vision. In that vision, I saw that he came back from the UK. He was wearing white agbada, touching the ground. And, you know, Pastor, Pastor Mika was rejoicing, called people. They all, they all didn't look like any of our normal all. He said, you know, we want to welcome daddy specially. He has gone. Now he's come that we need to welcome him to celebrate, you know, him being given back to us. But I noticed in that vision that when he was walking in, there was a white man. He looked like a British man. Fat, taller than daddy, huge, wearing suit. He was just following him. So I was wondering, because I was seated among the you know, congregation, now who's that guy? If daddy moves, he will just move with him. So daddy stood, then he stood. But you can tell, this is a, this is a British, he looked like a British guy. Then in that dream, I heard in my spirit, he's an angel. That is an angel the Lord added to his servant because of spoils in the United Kingdom. Spo I'm talking about then. The Lord said that. So when daddy came, I took note that the level of the word changed. So I perceive in my spirit, Wednesday Lucky Soul Center, there was one kind of breakthrough that just came as a result of something sat on the meeting. If that wasn't enough, school of the spirit, something sat on the meeting. Yesterday night, sometimes even the words that are being said don't capture everything that the cloud represents. So I just feel stirred in my heart that we should trust the Lord. It's the Lord we are trusting in. And it's the Lord who puts whatever it is, you understand, upon his servant for us. Paul said, when you are gathered together, he said, my spirit with you. There is something the Lord adds to ministers who have peculiar ministries to the body of Christ, season in, season out, that we will tap into if we believe them. The undoing of folks in 1 Corinthians 10 is that some of them, they, were need, they needed to be baptized into Moses. If you don't like Moses' face, you will not get what the Lord had for that hour. So Moses can be a stumbling block to the provisions of God of meat and drink. But Moses, of course, is not a stumbling block. If there's a stumbling block, it's in the heart of those who had the problem with Moses. So my exhortation this morning is that the Lord would, you know, help us. The meeting is about starting. The spirit of God that the Lord put upon daddy is the same thing that is upon mommy. It trickles down upon Pastor Maker, Pastor Thompson, Pastor Tyre, all our pastors, you understand, who are under Jesus, under daddy and mommy, to bless us. So my stirring, my exhortation is that we should trust God today to believe. Amen. Now the warfare of the adversary is to make us disbelieve. In the wilderness, he did a lot of things. All he was, he was attacking the person of Moses by you know, putting things in people's hearts. What, what, what was he after? He didn't want them to enter the promised land. He didn't want them to enter. So it made them add issues with Moses. They had issues with Aaron. They had issues you know, with Moses' family that they turned this thing to a family business. It's your brother that is the high priest. It's your sister that is the prophetess. You understand? What's the problem? But all of that is to make sure that the people didn't get the best of God. But by God's grace, not by power, not by might, God will strengthen us, we pray, to believe in his servant again. If you listen to some of the meetings in the UK, you can tell things were added. Beginning from Canada meeting, it was obvious. Certain unusual doors were open. Languages that are strange came down. 
And I know the Lord wants us to enter into it and push further in the advance of things everlasting. Can we pray this morning? Everyone, wherever you are, can we lift up our hands and pray? Lord, your word says, believe in the Lord your God. You shall be established. He said, believe ye also, also in his prophets and you shall prosper. Can we pray? Lord, grant us capacity to believe. To believe in in your servant. Your word says so. In 1 Corinthians 11 verse 1, Paul said, be ye followers of me as I follow Christ. He said it boldly. He said it boldly, but we are, are being admonished that we will believe God. Like first, uh, Ephesians 5 said, he said, be ye followers of God as their children. Then we will also believe his servant. We will believe that the Lord had sent his servant again. That the Lord is put things that we need to come under for to eat into deeper dimensions of things everlasting. Can we pray in the name of Jesus?